So today we're taking a look at this power bank by All Power. This is their S300 model. As you can see, it's quite a small power bank. Um, it has a rating of 300 watts on the AC side. It has six different outlets, two USB A's, a USB C, and one AC socket. Now this little power bank is ideal for powering smaller powered items. Not everybody wants a huge power bank that weighs 20 or 30 kilos. Um, I might only have a small van i want something that will charge up small items within their van now coming around to this side we have the ac in but this side we have the dc input or solar input and the cigarette lighter around the back we have the light which has two settings well three settings actually one and two and then sos mode so yeah, what can we tell you about this power bank? Very simple to use. It has a power button there, the AC on and off there, the DC's there. All your information is on the display. Power coming in, power going out, time remaining, and current percentage. So we've been using it for a few days, just powering a few little different items. But one thing I do really like about this, it has the wireless capability on the top to charge your mobile phone. So a few specifications of this little power bank. It's a 288 watt hour battery. It has six outlets. It weighs 3.4 kilograms. You can expect to charge this within about an hour and a half from an AC socket. And what it also does, like most power banks, it does 24 seven interrupted power. Now, if you don't know what 24 seven interrupted power means and whether you need 24 seven interrupted power, what you can do with this is in your house you can plug this into the ac socket via there and say you've got a fish tank with a lot of expensive fish in it you go away on holiday and you worry about a power cut then you plug your fish tank into here and the, it'll let the power cycle through to the fish tank and when a power cut kicks in this kicks in in so many milliseconds i think it's 12 milliseconds uh and i'll start powering your fish tank off of this now that's just one example um, so if you want something and you're you know, guaranteed power um, and you can't also rely on the off you know your grid supply so you can use this as a 24 7 uninterrupted power supply or any of the other power banks by all power now we've done reviews on quite a few power banks by all power but they've also sent me their sp027 now can i fit this in on the screen this is their if you see me on there 100 watt solar panel now at the moment it's been cloudy for days so i've not been able to get this out but we will get this out probably later in the video so there is the 100 watt all power solar panel which coupled with this you can probably expect it to charge it in three to four hours on a good day um the solar panel does have the legs so you can tilt it for optimum angle to the sun which will get you a bit more power especially in summertime where the sun is quite low so within the solar panel bag you get a couple of different cables um, that is their old style of charger and then you get the one with the xt60 plug on there and then it comes with your normal solar panel connectors there uh, this little power bank here will take up to 100 watts on solar so that's about it and they also come with some adapters so you can use this solar panel on other types of all power power banks as well it doesn't have to be just that particular one it can be a bigger one or a smaller one if it will take up to 100 watts so what kind of things can you plug into this now i would recommend this type of power bank a small one like this for powering smaller items now can we charge aa batteries via the ac socket now if we switch on the ac side and plug this in we will be able to charge these batteries as you can see they're coming on now uh, from this power bank so yeah you could charge things like this on this power bank also we like our coffee in this van so we have got a um, portable espresso maker which has a USB-C so we could plug that in and charge that off there this is pulling around 12 watts at the moment other useful things you might find to charge um, off this power bank uh, we find it quite in quite handy for charging things like uh, DJI drone which is only pulling a low amount pulling about four watts now currently we've got about 66 percent battery in this and it will last seven hours 
at 4 watts obviously on the AC side if you start plugging things that are up to 300 watts by the way this will surge to 600 watts so if you've got an item that's 150 watts but surges to 500 this will power it because it will handle up to 600 watt surge uh, but obviously if you're using stuff like that the battery ain't going to last as long so yeah I can charge my drone off of it uh, we can power the coffee machine now you can power several things at once so we could actually uh, put them batteries in charge there is enough room to actually fit that in which is nice and then I can charge the controller as well from this power bank and you can actually use all six outlets at once if you want providing you don't go over the uh, rated capacities on each of these now the capacity on the USB A's is 15 watts the USB C is 100 watts which is nice which means I can charge things like my MacBook from that so I've got my lead for my MacBook, I will actually show you it charging my MacBook. Now the MacBook uses quite a bit of, um, probably I did just kick on then, uh, quite a bit of power. So at the current moment we're pulling 55 watts. As you hear, the more wattage you pull, the fan will start kicking in. It's not too loud, I've had power banks that have been a lot louder than this before. Uh, but you know it's working hard, you can hear it working hard. It's pulling about 60 watts charging this MacBook up. Yeah, so I'm going to take this outside and this SP02700 watt solar panel from all power and let's see if we can put a little bit of juice back in this little power bank today. So look at that glorious sunshine but you can see how low it is in the sky. I was saying summertime it'd be right up there. So it's still producing quite well. It's still producing 33, 34 watts. Now if we angle this up a little bit and we've got a little bit of shade on it there. I'll just angle it a little bit more towards the sun we'll get a little bit more power out of that panel but well, that is uh, the 100 watt all power solar panel and that's a little 300 watt all power power bank i forgot to charge this this morning so we're on zero so yeah we're currently putting in about 34 watts i could stand it at the side of the van to get a bit more of an angle but it's a little bit shaded down there so we'll leave that out to do its thing so if you're interested in purchasing one of these little all power power banks one of the solar panels or any other products by all power i can highly recommend them we've reviewed just about every single one in their uh, range of power banks they've all been fantastic i know other people that use all power power banks yeah so we do highly recommend all powers and when anybody asks we always say all power power banks very good prices really good price at the minute this is a little over 200 pound for this and the solar panel at the moment i think it will probably go back up uh, so it's now is a good time to buy one of these so thanks for watching everybody thank you to all power for sending me this and as always we'll see you in the next one